Hey guys, it's your boy Peter John. Welcome to this episode of Logo Battle. Today it's about Wild Brain vs Hit Entertainment. Don't forget to vote on your favorite one at the end of the video. First I'm gonna talk about Wild Brain. It is a Canadian media, animation studio, production, and brand licensing company, mostly associated as an entertainment company. The company is known for owning the largest independent library of children's television programming, which is distributed through its multi-channel network, Wild Brain Spark, and a group of Canadian specialty television channels. 2006 to 2010, here we have the logo of the first Wild Brain's name, DHX Media. There is the word DHX in orange text and on the right of it, there is the word media in grey text. Here is the print version. 2010 to 2019, there is the word DHX in white text on a blue outline, and on the top right of it, there is the word media in black text. Here is the print version and an intro. 2019 to the present, they changed its name to Wild Brain. There are three blue shape connected to the each other, and with an eye on the top of them, and on the right of them, there is the word Wild Brain in grey text. Here is the stacked version and an intro. Okay, now it's time to talk about HIT Entertainment. It was a British-American entertainment company founded in 1982 as Henson International Television, the international distribution arm of the Jim Henson Company, by Jim Henson, Peter Orton, and Sophie Turner Lane. Orton alone took over the company in 1989, after learning Henson intended to sell the company to the Walt Disney Company. 1983 to 1989, here we have the logo of the first HIT Entertainment's name, Henson International Television. There is the word hit in black text and a black exclamation point, and under them there are the words Henson International and Television all in black text, and between them there are two black lines. Here is an intro. <laughs> 1989-1996, here we have the logo of the second hit entertainment's name, Hit Communications PLC. There is the word hit in silver text and on the right of it, there are the words communications and PLC in blue text. Here is an intro. 1994-1995, here we have the logo of the third hit entertainment's name, Hit Entertainment PLC. There is the word hit in silver text. Here is an intro. 1994 to 1996, there is the word hit in grey text, and on the right of it, there are the words entertainment and PLC in blue text. 1996 to 2001, the word hit is now 3D, and in blue text, the words entertainment and PLC are now in black text, and the dot in the letter I in the word hit was replaced to a world. Here is a variant and an intro. 2000 to 2008, the logo is now in 2D, and the words entertainment and PLC are now in a different font. Here is a variant and an intro. 2001 to 2006, here we have the logo of the fourth hit entertainment's name, Hit Entertainment, but with the I and the word hit being in capital letter. The word PLC has been removed from the logo. Here is the 2D version, a variant and an intro. 2006 to 2016, they finally changed its name to Hit Entertainment, with the letter I and the word hit being in lowercase text. There is a red cube and on the top of it there is a letter H in white text and on the right of the cube on a blue background, there is a letter T in white text, and on the left of the cube on a yellow background, there is a letter I in blue text and under the cube, there are the words hit and entertainment in red text. Here is the print version, the 2D version, the icon, the word mark and an intro. Okay guys, this is it for today. Please vote on your favorite logo in the cards above, and comment any suggestion you have for an episode on this series. Also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, if you liked the video. I am Peter John, this is Logo Battle, and until the next video, bye.